not excited, but this is going to be the first of many PCR tests. to go take my SAT paper. Uh. Okay. Which? <laughs> Yo, can you can someone grab my beer, please? Thank you. Ooh. What you doing? One, two. I love it. Let's go. So since my family wasn't with me in Singapore and I wouldn't be there for Christmas, my cousins, my uncle and my aunts and their friends, we just had an early Christmas dinner and an exchange. And then I went home to do some last minute packing till like really late, but I would be leaving the next day. So because of COVID, there's a lot of document checking and we had to wait hours at the airport so here's me working on my lang essay while waiting for our pcr results It's been like six hours, so it's 11 p.m. now. Also, I don't know why if the hotel room is supposed to be so dark. Wait, let me see if I can switch these on. Oh. Oh, okay. I have. Okay, I managed to switch on the lights, so it's not so dark. Because if it was so dark, it's going to scare me. It's currently 12:47, and they just delivered dinner. And I don't know if I want to eat it because it is 12:47. currently like nine something and i'm just gonna sit here and do my legs in this essay because it's due tomorrow and there's still a lot that i have to do so that's what i'm gonna do for like the whole of today let's go six and a half hours later Because my mom sent me a yoga mat. I spent the whole of today doing my leg, yesterday doing my leg yesterday, which was due today. Since I'm quarantining for 14 days, it's gonna be pretty repetitive, but my family has been here since November. I've kind of been alone in like handling a lot of stuff. Two weeks ago, like on the first day of quarantining, 
was literally the first time in the past month that I've slept for more than six hours. I've kind of been struggling with finding what I want to do, like skating and flying. They're pretty age limited, so if I don't plan to pursue it as a profession, then how far do I want to go? Even though these two weeks were kind of chaotic to say the least. Hey guys, my friend Sydney ordered me bubble tea. Oh my goodness. <gasps> the Wi-Fi stopped working for the past five hours and I don't have any data or a SIM card. So for the last hour, I have been watching Thundermans and Crime Scene Kitchen. Several days later. Okay, here's a story. So <laughs> then my ear started bleeding. And then I told my mom, so she brought this cheesecake from the Mandarin Hotel, and it is so good. But it was the first time I really got to slow down, because I don't usually reflect on myself, because it makes me overthink, and I'm really thankful. I can't wait to see you guys after quarantine. So on my first day out of quarantine, it was mainly my mom and I running errands and eating lots of good food that I missed. <laughs> so it's currently like 4.25 a.m. but... <laughs> yeah, but tomorrow's my grandpa's birthday. So we were busy like arranging everything because we're going for dinner and yeah, tomorrow's gonna be like a really busy day also. I don't but if we turn the clock's back. So yeah, this was my mom and my sister and the rest of my family at my grandpa's birthday dinner. <laughs> Because time ain't as well, but you fill me up and I can. <laughs> the next day, we just had dinner with some friends, and these are the city lights from where we stay. Honestly, I kind of forgot how much I missed the view. For the pain that you can get through. This was me on my way to a friend's birthday party. On Christmas Eve, we went out for dinner, and on Christmas, I was just with my family the whole day. Fun fact, Ben Nye is one of my favorite things ever. On this day, we took a ferry to Changchao Island. And then afterwards, a boat to a nearby island where one of our family friends has a house. We just spent the whole day barbecuing and at the beach watching the sunset, which was absolutely stunning. On the 30th, I went to a friend's birthday party. And on New Year's Eve, I had dinner with my family before going to a party with some of my friends. And it went a little like this. filled with lots of good memories with my family and friends and of course with lots of good food and stunning views.